Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will create a table in the database using SQL Alchemy. The steps include creating an engine, creating a session, creating a table, and finally, migration. If you have not understood anything, fear not, I will explain these steps using actual code. Alright, so I have created a new file called student.py. This is where I will be doing all the code. The first step is to create an engine. We need to import create engine for that. Create the engine by first providing the type of SQL server, in this case PostgreSQL, then providing the username and password, then providing the URL and port, and finally the name of the database. Echo equal to true will give a very verbose output when we execute the code. Right now, I am making it false. Next, I will create a session to talk to the database. I need to import session maker for that. So I have created a new session by binding it to this engine that we have created here. Next I will create the table. For that I need to first import declarative base and call it. Then I will create the table class which will inherit the base class that we just created. I will create a class called student. Name of the table will be student and define four fields id name age and grade i need to import column string and integer for defining the fields i have to define the name of the table this field is mandatory Now I will define the rest of the field. I am assigning id as the primary key. I am defining name as a string with a maximum length of 50 characters. I am defining age as an integer. And I'm defining grade as a string with maximum 50 characters. Once the table definition is done, we need to migrate this table so that it is actually reflected in the database. This is the code to migrate. This will create a table in the database with these four columns. I will now execute the program. Now we can see that a table has been created named student with four columns id, name, age and grade. So that is done. In the next video we will insert data into these fields. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.